Hi guys, Snake Doctor here. Welcome back to the next part of Broken Sword 4, The Angel of Death. Where we left George last time, um, just arrived at Mama Martino's uh, meatpacking company. And we're hot on the trail of this uh, this manuscript that Anna Maria's lost. So let's go in here and have a chat to the, uh, the guy behind the counter. Hi there. Hello, sir. My name is Chico Gorella, and I run this shop for Mama Martino's salami factory. We got a wide range of salamis for your delectation. We got salami Milano, salami di Folino, salami Ungarese, salami Bresciola. Yeah, we got so much salami, we got salami coming out our ears. <laughs> Little joke there. Maybe, it's sir, it's a lot of salami. Than, uh, extra special. How about... Mm. A 28-year-old vintage salami. Made the way Mama used to make it, huh? Uh, thanks, but no. Spicy foods don't agree with me. You mean... You don't eat salami? Uh, no. Not... <laughs> ever? Not really, I better get on it. Like... Never? Never ever. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm crazy about salami. I die for salami. I love salami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you too. You're a funny guy. Hey, don't I know you? You on TV? Oh, I've just got one of those faces. I never forget a face, you know. Yeah, it'll come to me. <laughs> funny guy. All right, let's have a chat about so you. So how long have you been working here? As long as I can remember. This place has been in the family for a long time. Oh, so your relatives own it? <laughs> no, no, no. The family. The family. <laughs> oh, I see, of course. The family. This guy's crazy. What's he talking about? <laughs> the mafia. The mafia. So, why are you working here in the salami shop? Well, first and foremost, I love salami. And second and second most, if I wasn't here, how could I demonstrate my love of salami to so many people? Now, there's a sentiment you normally hear more often after dark down by the docks. That's a good point. All right, let's uh, see, what's, see what he's got to say about the salami. You have a very wide selection of salamis. That's because Mama Martino, she make a lot of different salami. This one here is made out of boar. Was the boar wild? Well, he wasn't too keen on the idea. <laughs> it's an old gag, but always a good one, huh? What makes a Martino salami so special then? The finest and the freshest ingredients. And, of course, the secret recipe. You look like a guy who's lived a little. Why not take a holiday? See the world, retire. Uh, mister, you don't retire from Mama Martino's. Mama Martino's retires you. I bet. All right, one more question about salami. So what salami would you recommend for me? I know it the minute you walked in the door, sir. The Martino Vintage. The Me Plus Ultra of the salami world. Nice Latin, I'm impressed. You see, the Martino Vintage utilizes only the tenderest meat, hung and bled for three whole days whilst being constantly beaten. Oh, really? Uh, what do you beat it with? Baseball bats. Anyway, <laughs> when the meat's ready, the boss himself grinds it up. From one mm. batch, we can make 50 salamis. Each one goes to a different store as a one-off special. This is my only 28-year vintage, and it's going cheap. Wow. To think that salami's been around for 28 years. Ha! Are you crazy? <laughs> 28's the age of the meat when it goes into the salami. Oh, <laughs> I see. Nice. Human salami, then. Right, let's... Uh... Let's see if we can get rid of him for a bit. Let's give him some of these facts. I don't suppose you know what make of cigarette this is. I sure do. Those are heavenly breeze. The finest Italian cigarettes you can buy. Interesting branding. My favorite. Very hard to get in this country, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess that. 
One drag from one of those babies, and you feel like you're up there with the angels. Ah, oh, yes, sir. What do you want for the pack? I'll have some um, salami. Right. If I give you this pack of cigarettes, you have to give me the vintage salami. Vintage for some cigarettes? Yeah. It's an interesting offer, and it's a done deal. There you go. One Martino's classic vintage salami. Look at that. Thank you. It's an impressive and salami. Italian cigarette. I bet you're just itching for one of those death sticks right now, huh? You better believe it. But if I leave here and get found out, there'll be hell to pay. I'll have to wait until no one's around. Nice doing business yes. with you. Chico's got what he wants. Now all I have to do is hide, watch, and wait. Well, I, I want that, uh, that apron there, I think, so I'm going to just uh, just wait around here. Hopefully he'll uh, wander off soon. There we go, quick. While he's uh, sneaking out the back for a crafty cigarette, let's... Uh... Oh, he's back. <laughs> How we saw? I'm sure he went out the door then. Sure, he went out the door, didn't he? Go on. Door's opening. He's going. Door's shutting. Okay, he's definitely gone. There he is. He's appeared out the side there. Right, quick. Let's have the mat. Let's have this uh, apron away. Wearing the apron, I'd be able to move freely about the building. And there's no time like the present. Indeed. Right. Well, George, you look the part. Let's see if we can go into the uh, main part of the factory now. I don't know where we're going, but let's... Is there a way out here? There we go, look. Hello. We're going the other way, are we? Okay, we're going up the ramp. Taking the long way around. Seeing the sights. Up the ramp and round the corner. Come on, George. You've got all day. Hello. Hi there. Finally I'm got George. you. He looks friendly. What do I care? You ain't nothing to me. Charming. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I ain't here for the small talk. What do you want? Uh, I'd like to know everything about this company, please. So where is the famous Mama Martino? When do I get to meet her? Are you crazy? Mama's been gone these past fifty years. <laughs> God rest her soul. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. So who runs this place now? The boss, Fingers Martino. Didn't they tell you in the interview? Well, I was just too excited at the time. That explains a lot. Alright, let's find out a bit about Chico. You know Chico in the trade shop? What's he like? Time we let the old goat go. His memory shot to pieces. Don't say that to him, though. He's got a temper on him bigger than the bulls. But he seems so he harmless. Is. Yeah, that's what the last helper said. Then he asked Chico to share a cigarette, and BAM! BAM? BAM! A month later, we got a can of dog food returned with the guy's tie in it. Ooh, lovely. <laughs> Only joking, kid. <laughs> Great gag. Right. I think I'll get my salami out. Look, I've got the Martino Vintage, the salami of kings. Kings? There ain't no kings in that, just a bookkeeper. Huh? I said the vintage. It's a good keeper. <laughs> <laughs> right. Time to go in, I think. Right. Let's have a wander around here. Actually, is there anything? Aha. Uh -huh. I remember this. Oh, 
there something over here I had to grab? over here. Yeah, I think it was this, wasn't it? Maybe not. That's just rotating the pigs around. Okay. Okay, we can't go around there, so there's nothing around here at the moment. Let's go back and uh, go down those steps. Is there anything around here, is there? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, Got blood in there, that's lovely. There's a fire blanket, wasn't there? Let's grab that. Let's, uh, what else we've got? Let's go in here. Evil-looking thing, like some kind of torture so awesome. device. The top's covered in blood and small bits of bone. I just hope it's for disposing of waste pig and not. No, mm. I don't want to go there. A bunch of safety keys are hanging from the key slot. We'll have those then, I think. Keys. Let's carry on through here now. I can hear music coming from somewhere, but where? Uh -huh. Up there. Okay. We uh, we go this way, can't we? Actually, we have to do something with this. towards that opening. <laughs> and again. And one more time. Conveniently onto the uh, onto the forklift. So let's uh Press the button and then jump up. The forklift truck appears to be dead. No lights, nothing. Ah. Well, maybe then we could try keys, which clearly work on every piece of machinery. The safety key fits the lock on the forklift. That's good, but we need to be on it, don't we? So, can we climb up there. Yes, we can. Up there as well, and hopefully we can then climb up on top of the on top of the trash can. Come on, George, up we go. Good man. Let's have a look through here. So then the bum tries to tell me it was my boys that screwed up. Huh. Everybody knows my boys are the best. It's not got the that boss right, man. Malachi, sir. So I am told. That's why you hired me. Apparently. Anyways, Tony's got cold feet now. Ain't that right, fellas? That's right, Mr. Fingers, sir. I guess he's gonna be uh, hanging around a long time before I... Another job comes his way. 
You crack me up, Mr. Fingers. You see? Messing with my wife I could deal with. But screwing my business, why well, that's pushing. So, anyhow, Mr. Spalacci, sir, here we are. The manuscript safe and sound. There it is. That's what we need. We need to get that back. F for found. Clever, huh? So much better than F for failure, don't you think? Or G for Garot? Or Dracula in there, have we? Hanged himself, huh? Very, very, very funny, Mr. Spalacci, sir. Yes, very funny. I've got to find a way to get those guys out of there. Yes, how do we do that? That's one way to do it. Okay, just drop down and let's go back. Back in here. And uh right. Can't quite remember where to go. Is there something we could do in this corner? No, it's just crates over here, wasn't it? Okay. Right, let's go past the pigs. The man's back there again. I'm sure he was downstairs uh, upstairs a minute ago. Okay. This way, right, let's go down here. This wasn't open a minute ago, so we'll see if we've done something right. Down here. Ooh, what's that noise? Sounds like a fire going on. Let's go through this way then. Oh, the handle's that's, very uh, hot. I nearly melted my fingers to it. Fly, fly blanket. She's locked. Let's use the blanket again and grab a a log. We can get one from anywhere or not. Let's try. Ah, one around there. Brilliant. Let's grab that. I can hardly feel the heat of the wood through the blanket. That's good. Okay, let's get back then and uh, see if we can smoke these guys out of that room. Okay, back up. Okay. Come on, George. You can run. You how? In the olden days, you could double click on something and you jump straight through the uh, to the next room, but not in this game. Come on, man. Side again. Back up there. Come on, George. Up we go. Up we go. Up we go again. Okay. Right, let's chuck this. In the window. The wood's smoldering in the air vent, but only a small amount's going into the room. I need to make more. So 
Make some more fire. Okay, come on then, where's some uh need some water, don't we, to make this smoke a bit more? Must be button for a run. Let me just quickly have a look at this because run left ah, control. There we go. It's better, isn't it? Okay. So there's some ice in here. Yeah, that was, yeah, fantastic. Okay. Let's grab some ice. Don't want it to melt, so let's get back quickly. Through the door, George, that's it. Right, come on, man, up you get. Ice is melting, come on. Have we got rid of it yet? There we go. Fantastic. Man hasn't seen it clearly. Ah, that smoke. Don't you just love it? <laughs> the smell of Naples herself in a salami. <laughs> Who would have thunk it, huh? But hey, you can have too much of a good thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Cough it up, Chip. <laughs> all head down to the club and uh, celebrate our little success. Good idea. <laughs> For God's sake, yes. <laughs> right, well, it's so like they're leaving now. Hey, Tony, how's it hanging, Tony? <laughs> you guys <laughs> finish up now and head home, you hear? What about the new guy? What new guy? Fella started just now. Ah, let him be. Hey. He ain't gonna starve, right? <laughs> Fingers and the other guys are leaving. Now's my chance to get the manuscript. Okay, right. Well, I think as they've left, we'll uh, we'll also leave it there. So I'll come back again soon for the next part, and uh, yeah, let's see if we can grab this manuscript and get back to Anna Maria. For now, I've been Snake Doctor, and uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon, guys. Cheers. Bye bye.